Well, first question for you, pick to win the league in both of those. Is that added pressure? What do you think of being in that situation? You know, it, it's, a, it's humbling and it's an honor at the same time to be recognized in the league of this conference. I love this conference. I have a great deal of respect for the coaches and the programs of the big sky. So, <clears throat> will that help us win a game? No. Mm -hmm. Will that help us win uh, <laughs> vary our fan base? Uh, the the of our <laughs> I hope so. And, and, and if, we, uh, if we do it right, we'll use it for those reasons. <laughs> our football <laughs> team. We've been spending too long to focus on this one that we've managed since the end of last year to improve the level we have. Okay. One thing I've talked about with almost every guy in this room has just been uh, this the scheduling in this league. Yes, yeah, yeah, see, it's all about the nature of it all. What do you think? Of that? <laughs> Sometimes you don't. Hey, play good luck to the Royals down the stretch. Yeah, yeah. 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 you know it's. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, we kind of knew that was going to happen. Right? Right? We have this kind of team. Really there's no easy chance for the Royals. So, you know, it is what it is. Kind of thing. This is my personal future. <laughs> I think some years it's fair and some years it just it well, isn't. Some needs some help this year. But that's the nature of the beast. Uh, you don't know how the team's going to be. And if you did, you could have yet a you know, crystal yeah, ball. Right, right. Right. Making sure that everybody right. plays the people right. that they need to. Right. 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 But it's just the nature of having the cycle. Expansion? Do you think that continued expansion? Do you think that's good? Well, if it creates balance in a way that will make schedule the nature. And why are you, you doing know, that? Like, I don't yeah, fit exactly. geographically yeah. well, fit in so many ways. Well, having having it's seen it when they were in the conference and they were a dominant team during their tenure here, and bringing those yeah. traditions back can only help the conference. Yeah. 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 From an on-the-field yeah. standpoint, do you think that they'll be right there among the top teams in the league upon their return? Well, they're they're recruiting from the position of FBS. How their seasons have gone, I think they're getting better. But I, I just think the, the demographics, the, the geography, the location, it just makes more sense to play games within your region. And so I hope it's good for them. I hope it's good for the conference. I think it will be. Uh, the graduate transfer it's, uh, rule it's that has really affected the big sky the last couple of years. Now you have a kid <laughs> that somebody might come calling for someday too. So what do you think? Not someday. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, right. right. Someday started last fall. <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you think the rule though? Like, we're not worried about that. Just for the most recent situation. Sure. Again, that's, this is the, you know, the nature of the rules right now. What it is. <laughs> do I like the idea that the FBS? A lot of the FBS programs have one guy that's going through every program looking for that guy. I don't like the way it feels. It puts us in a farm club position to develop players. I don't like you give an individual opportunity to help his teammates on the program that developed him. It just doesn't feel right to me. In the nature of the college experience for the student athlete, the student athlete should probably have whatever opportunity for him. I can see that but for me from the team standpoint and what's left behind when they leave. I don't like how that feels. Uh, full cost of attendance, another big talking point in college football. And I know no one in the big sky really is ready for that. I know North Dakota had to do it just because of the Missouri Valley thing. But um, if, if those dominoes begin to fall, do you think it's something that you guys have to explain? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, do, do you like it? What's, what's your opinion on full cost of attendance? There's certain yeah, things you don't control, right? and the trends of college football. Um, I, I'd like to think that our program is financially viable. Dr. Lisa Campos and Dr. Reader Chamber, our president, have done to support athletics. My clothes have been a huge boost for us in the last four years. We got back from Christmas. So I would hate to have anything affect us in a way that would take away from what we're already doing. But if we had an opportunity to have a student athlete, I'm all behind it. Uh, we live, we've been around the city for a really long time, so two questions just about that. There's now a new first new commissioner in really? 20 years, so we'll flurry some of the questions that are What do you think is the most pressing issue for the big sky? I think for us, and we, we talked about it, is uh, getting fair representation in the playoffs of our conference. Uh, 
know, we've had some teams that have been on the boat with North Dakota just last year. They're so <laughs> to do. We have had our share of this opportunity the last couple of years of where I'll tell them we were left out. Yeah. And, uh, it's, so crazy. Think, uh, well, it's tough to split <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when they went to 24 teams in the, in the playoff, <laughs> you know, I thought it would reflect <laughs> more representation in the sky. So for our conference, you know, having now 14 teams, you know, you know, I'm sorry, count Iowa already. Already, yeah. Well, I mean, it's inevitable. It's coming. <clears throat> so, I, I mean, but it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's almost like we have the same biscuits on the table with that many more hands reaching for it. And it's, it's, so it's, it's even harder to get it. And, uh, and it shouldn't be that way. I, mean, really, I think there are teams that get more attention because they're on the East Coast. Sure. And I, I think our, we have a challenge with the, the time change and night games. And, uh, and so I think we have to, as a conference, do a great job of promoting uh, our product and our teams. I love to do that. 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 And last question for you. Uh, in this room, all sorts of new faces that are at uh, premier programs, that are at upstart programs, all of the above. So what do you think of just some of these new additions to the league, coaching wise, in the last three years, and what they what it's done to uh, the competitive balance? Well, I think it's. it's it's every bit as balanced. But I mean, it's, you look at Jeff Schoen, you know, he was in Chalice High School in Idaho when, when he was going to the Grizzly football team. He had nine and to watch his career, the things that he was doing. He was a great football coach. So, you know, Montana State did well in hiring him. <laughs> but Barney, Portland State, he's been at a conference. He was in Idaho State, and he bounced around. So, they're new faces as head coaches, but they're guys that know the conference and they know and understand the value of the big sky. And, and we talked about last year, challenging it is. You know, but I've seen coaches come into our conference with, with very little respect for it. And they, and they, and they, got, they paid the price. If you don't respect the conference, and the people are in, the players are in, the coaches are in. You think you're, you're above it? You know, you're getting betrayed. You yeah. So, you know, the guys in this room are so, yeah, great guys. You know, they don't get a chance to get them, you know, each of them all over the place. And uh, it's going to be as challenging as the paradise has never been strong.